It wasn't over here last time. What is this? Ha <laughs> ha, victory. Got me. Just so we need Emmy underwater when we have limited mobility. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of painful. part is I just don't know where I'm going. I didn't know I was there. I was invisible. I thought I was allowed to move when I was invisible. Oh, thank goodness. It was in a different location. This thing is just too fast. Hmm. Here's another situation where I would wish I could remap buttons because I would much rather have my dash ability um, mapped to a shoulder button rather than A. A is a terrible choice for the, for the dash. Stop being a ball. It's too slow.
Um, I I knew it would get me if I if it bumped into me when I was invisible. It didn't actually bump into me. It's like it. My problem wasn't it grabbing me when I was invisible. My problem was it seeing I was there when I was invisible. Pretty sure it was user error, though. That old fiend. Happy to see Gladys again. The Emmy chases are always so stressful. And there's so many of them, one of the few issues I have with the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't really mind the uh I don't really mind the Emmy stuff. I kinda like it in fact. I feel like they took the uh, stealth section from the end of uh Zero Mission and fixed it. why everything's like alarms are going off. Yep, got the fancy cannon again. You're lucky I can't aim.
a good point now that you mentioned it. Zero mission stealth part did feel like it could have been a precursor to the Emmys here. Yeah, I hated that stealth part too. Again, probably all just user, user error, but I I didn't have a good time with that part of that game at all. Did it. Victory speed booster, nice. I've been seeing the icons for that around. Welcome to the stream, Quintivium. Happy to have you here with us. From what I've read, Metroid Dread as a concept was created shortly after the release of Fusion and was stuck in development hell until now. I hadn't heard much about the development of it, but that may be the case. I'd much rather kick enemy butt than sneak around and avoid them. Yeah. Um, it was originally planned as a DS game, but development issues kept delaying it until they gave up for several years. All right, Speed Booster allows Samus to dash at supersonic speed after a short buildup. Press L once while running to ready the speed. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, my friends. Um, to ready the Speed Booster, continue running for a certain distance. The Speed bo Booster will... Activate. While active, any enemies in Samus's path will be damaged and any speed booster blocks will be destroyed. In addition, while the speed booster is active, Samus can propel herself in a set direction using the Shine Spark. Tilt L down while speed booster is active to ready a Shine Spark. Once ready, press B to activate it before tilting L in any direction to propel Samus in that direction. All right, so this works a little differently. Oh, let's get this uh, E-Tank piece. There we go. Okay. Cool. So. Heart piece, yeah, exactly. Is this uh, Metroid or Zelda? I'm guessing I, I guess I'm running away from the area I should have gone to first. Well, we'll go back. 
my desire to immediately make use of the shine spark. Oh, I can't get past this, though. Oh, yeah, I can. And this, too, probably. Yep. Okay. Um... I think I've been in here before. Have I gone over there before, though? Oh yeah, I was just running around this room a mere moments ago. But what's over here? Nothing! Not a very effective use of that. I don't know how much uh, running space I need. I mean, that's not how to do it. Can you please? Yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Oh, I'm I'm never going to open one of these rooms. I'm never going to open this door. So much for that. Didn't think that would work. saw an energy tank.
Gotta get that god level aim. Yeah, I... I think that that room might always be a mystery to me. Surely there's a... Surely there's a weapon later that would make that easier. We'll just see, I guess. There's a lot going on here. I wonder how long I can carry. A shine spark charge. Not very long. But maybe enough to get through that room. To get in that lower room. Yaden, hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Hey, we're happy to have you here. Welcome to you and welcome to your friends. Really happy that uh, you've decided to drop by. Welcome in. It's the Forgotten Panda and just your average gen and rocky mountain pro hello hello let me put a uh, shout out here in the chat so that anyone who uh, needs to can give yaden a follow and see what you guys were up to i hope you had a good stream Retro, what were you, uh, can you narrow it down? What were you, uh, what were you guys up to in the, uh, retro category? More Turok tonight. Turok is, uh, if you're talking about the first one, Turok Dinosaur Hunter on the Nintendo 64, that's a game I put so many hours into and never made any progress in. <laughs> uh, how are you liking Dread? I'm, I'm liking Dread quite a bit. It's, um, you know, I've got, uh, I've got a few complaints about it, but overall, I'm having a really good time. It's my my first time playing it tonight. First playthrough and first session of the first playthrough. We've been at it for five hours. And it just feels like I've done so much stuff. If I was really good and really fast, I could probably carry a charge all the way down there and get that. But I don't think I'm quite good enough for that. I am aware of my limitations. Oh well. This room seems like a seems like a bust. What am I trying to get to even? Down and around. The first, a lot of running around in circles and going, what do I do now? Yeah. I think um, when it comes to um, the original Turok, I could make it to about the third level. And that's the best I could ever do without uh, 
without cheat cheat codes. Even with uh, even with the cheat codes, I could never find my way around the levels. It was all too foggy. Missiles. Let's see. Played through Dread a few weeks back for the first time. Loved it. Enough so to play through immediately a second time on hard, which is rare. Which is rare for me. Right on. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it quite a bit so far. So I've played I've played Zero Mission, Super Metroid, and Metroid Fusion. And I would say Super Metroid's my favorite of the of those. Zero Mission would be in second place, and Fusion would be last. And I already like this better than Fusion. I probably like it better than Zero Mission, too, but... I don't really want to make up my mind until I get all the way through it. like there's something up here. No, I've been through this room before. Where in the world am I trying to go, I wonder? Save room over there. I got a new ability, but I just don't have any idea where to use it at. What kind of room is this? Nobody knows. Emmy zone door. That might be somewhere to head toward. Another, what is this? There's a little bit of stuff down here in this area yet, too. Oh, yeah, this is where I, this is where I should be going. I should be heading over here so I can get up here. Alright, that makes that all makes sense now. Grawbad, welcome in. Happy to have you here. Normal mode destroyed me. I don't think that I could beat it on hard. <laughs> I um, I didn't even notice a difficulty um, a difficulty option. Oh, I owe a lot of people some uh, th some thank yous. Thank you for the thank you for the follows, my new friends. Um, it's the Forgotten Panda. Thank you very much. Um, Aylmer Stone. Aylmer, Aylmer's tune, perhaps? Sorry, I'm not exactly sure how to say that. But I do appreciate you following, as well as you, Rocky Mountain Pro. Thank you for that. Um, I caught someone stream yesterday and they were playing this. I knew a new Metroid was coming, had no idea a new 2T Metroid was coming. I was so stoked, I ordered an OLED switch and the game right then and there. It will be here Friday, switch on the 28th. Well, between Friday and the 28th, I'm absolutely giddy. Right on. I hope that you have a, a good, as good a time with it as I'm having, if not better. And thank you for the follow as well, Grawlbad. All of you, very kind. Thank you. Um... Fusion was my favorite outside of Super Metroid. Yeah, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people like Fusion. Um, the thing I don't really like about Fusion is I don't like how talky it is. I don't really... Like, Adam kind of ruins the game for me. I don't like him talking to me all the time, telling me where to go and what to do. I really, like... I want 
Metroid to be desolate and lonely like Super Metroid. That's been one of my few complaints about this game, is it's also very talky. But I like the way I like the way Samus moves. I like the controls. I like the I like the Emmys. Running away from them. I'm not very good at it. I die a whole lot in this game. But that's alright. It's still a fun time. Must be super bombs. Oh, I like this. I can use this to uh, grind some refill refills. That's good. I guess I better do that on the other side too, just for completion's sake. Oh no! I can't do anything in here, can I? This isn't where I was supposed to go at all. I've got this ability too, but I'm not sure where to use it yet either. Whoa. Let me look at the map again. This is the most I've been, this is the most sort of like lost and confused about what to do next I've, I've been so far. Hmm. I've been, I've been sailing along pretty smoothly. Now it appears to be time for me to scratch my head. Whoa, we just have another raid come in? My goodness. Welcome in, Kel Tallo and friends. Oh, I better get somewhere safe if I'm gonna look at the chat. <laughs> Welcome in. We're really happy to we're really happy to have you here with us. Let me just get caught up on what's going on here. Um, I owe some welcomes to um, Dave Dartek. Happy to have you with us. And Icy Webs. Let's see. I'd say this is arguably on par with Super Metroid. That is high praise. That is high praise. Likewise, Super Metroid is my favorite. Love Zero played Fusion for the first time immediately following Tread. Super Metroid, Samus Returns, and Zero Mission will be my top three, Greg says. Out of all the games, I think Dread feels the best to play. So smooth and buttery. My kid liked this game a lot also, Hooked on Pot says. Whoa. But I had to beat the bosses for him. The bosses in this game so far, I've only I think I've only fought two. They've been tough. And like I was saying, I don't usually don't I don't think Metroid bosses are usually all that tough. But these have been pretty tough. And thank you for the magic bean, Hooked on Pot. We'll do that just as soon as I get caught up. Let's see. Grawbed says, grabbed a copy of the new Shin Megami Tensei. I've never played anything in the series or the spinoffs to that. I had a friend in high school who got super into Persona 3 and 4, but I haven't tried any of those or any of the mainline games myself. I like the plot of Fusion. I don't like how it railroaded you. Yeah. 
At least it's not Other M. So I haven't played any of the 3D Metroids yet. I haven't played the Prime games or Other M. I've heard nothing but terrible things about Other M for the most part. One or two people in the chat kind of stood up for Other M, but the general consensus seems to be resoundingly negative. Um, it's probably two hours worth of cutscenes. Everybody has their faves, you know. I was just discussing Castlevania with someone the other day. Uh-oh. Oh, what are we going to say about Castlevania? And thought it was absolutely nuts for having Aria of Sorrow as my favorite Castlevania. I haven't played that one. You want to hear you want to hear an opinion that's probably more questionable than that though. I love Castlevania 64. Legitimately love that game. It is wonderful. It speaks to my soul. I do have to say the plot gets really good half the way through though. I'm not sure it, we're, I'm so disconnected. I'm not sure what game's plot gets good half the way through. I'm sorry I'm so behind on the chat here and I'm just sitting here just sitting here, here reading instead of moving. We will continue with the game. Um, Keltalo is truth. The truth is you're being raided. <laughs> nice. Never played Aria. Symphony is my favorite, followed by Super Castlevania 4. Castlevania 4 is good. Symphony is good. I played both of those for the first time on stream. Not that, not all that long ago. Almost at, almost at 40 viewers. It's a party. We got a lot of people here. It's nice. How are you enjoying Dread so far? Yeah, so I, uh, sorry, I'm finally catching up to up to you. Oh, I owe I owe uh, Keltalo a shout out too. Let me do that. Sorry, I'm I'm without my mods at the moment, and uh, they've they spoil they've spoiled me. I expect them to do all the heavy lifting like that. But Dread so far is really good. And I'm I'm having a I'm having a I'm having a fun time with it. Um, we're I've been playing it for five and a half hours now. This is not this is my first playthrough and this is my first stream of it. Um definitely up there for me on those two. Just love collecting all the souls in sorrow. At the end, if you equip the good ones, you're basically Dracula. Something about that one really spoke to me. When it comes to the Metroidvania Castlevanias, um, I've only played Symphony, Circle of the Moon, and Order of Ecclesia, but Order of Ecclesia is my favorite of those far and away. I, I really like that game. Oh no, the game's falling asleep on me. Plan on running through all the official Castlevania releases eventually. Definitely need to catch up. Our good friend Bel Air Jeff is doing that currently. I'm no good at remembering to do parry attacks. Played Fusion a bit, but never beat it. I wanted to love Castlevania 64. You say, "What don't What don't you love about it? It's wonderful. It's got a It's got like a great lonely atmosphere that I like in games. Um, the I like the art style of it. I think it's a lot of fun. Even the clunky controls are arguably an accurate um, translation of the clunky side-scrolling controls of the original game. I doubt I could even get dressed without my mods. <laughs> aren't, aren't mods wonderful? I know that I know that mine are they they do a lot of great things for me so um, if you haven't used that uh, link yet um, my friends use that link to follow uh, Kel Taller. that's what I'm doing right now anyone who anyone who drops by with a raid you know deserves to have us check out their content and if you don't follow them you're not going to remember to do that so give a follow um, and I don't know what Temetsi is. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Dave says, I can confirm I dress him every morning. 
it Ari of Sorrow, and sorry if I'm spelling it wrong here, but in that you had to farm each enemy to get their soul, also other drops, yeah. Um, Order of Ecclesia is kind of like that too. There's a there's a bit of farming to, to get the collectibles. I don't know what it was, just didn't resonate with me. Love the atmosphere though, maybe it was the controls that ruined it. The controls are pretty broken. The camera is especially broken. But I love it anyway. The game doesn't have to be, uh... The game doesn't have to be perfect for me for me to love it <laughs> i can overlook a lot of flaws <laughs> arguably too many <laughs> thanks today was my one year anniversary stream and we had a blast congratulations on the uh, on the one year i'm not even uh i'm not even there yet myself i got a couple months hopefully i'll hopefully i'll make it to one year as well but congratulations to you I wish they would sell the franchise to someone who understands it will actually put Castlevania, put out, uh, put games out in the Castlevania series. Konami is sitting on so many good IP. It would be nice if they would, you know, rent them out to someone or something like that. Frowny overtime? Yeah, we're going, we're going well into overtime tonight. I'm having so much fun with this. I just want to keep, I just want to keep rolling with it for a while. Uh, Tometsi is advanced minesweeper. Most of his stream today was Mario Kart and Mario Party. Mario Kart I've had a lot of fun with. I haven't played Mario Kart or Mario Party on stream. I'm not very well versed in Mario Party. I've played it a couple times, but I've never really had a group of friends to play it with. And the uh, the camera, the sorry, the uh, computers in that game, the computer controlled characters can be so frustrating. You're spelling it right, Aria. For its purpose, as the title of the game goes, I agree to a point, but the only problem I have with the grinding and farming the ability souls is how long it can take sometimes. Right. Hooked on Pot, thank you for the bits. Very kind of you. Thank you for the hundred bits. All right, let's eat the bean that I owe you. So these are uh, these are bean boozled beans. They're like half of them are delicious jelly beans. And half of them are those, like, gross Harry Potter flavors. And now, per Hooked on Pot's request, I'm going to eat one. So let's, let's see how it goes. Oop, I got two. Put one back. It is... Oh, okay. So this is, this is birthday cake or dishwater. So let's uh, let's see what happens to us. Ah, uh, man, <laughs> this is dishwater. The the dishwater bean. I've said this a lot. But it, it tastes, it tastes like an old sponge smells. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> It's not, it's not fun to choke down. <laughs> Two for three ain't bad. <laughs> Sorry for the bad bean. Huh. Am I two for three tonight? What did I have before? I had booger and chocolate and dishwater, yeah. I've had one good bean. <laughs> uh, thank you for the lurk, Kel... Kel Keltalo, thank you again for the raid and the follow. Much appreciated. Gra grab a little food. 
stream was very long today. <laughs> I've got a big hungry. I, I hope you and I hope you enjoy your uh, I hope you enjoy your food. And yeah, I completely understand. I'm usually I'm usually completely wrecked at the end of a stream. <laughs> beans, yeah, these beans, these beans are Oh, there's something else. All right, I'm going to start moving around again. Maybe. Let's see if I can blast through here. Great. Dave Dartek, thank you for the follow as well. Everybody is being too kind to me tonight. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Does that box have puke? It does. Oh, oh, and I had I drew that bean, but it was uh, but it was the peach one. So I'm I'm half and half on the beans. I've had a lot of beans tonight. You guys are redeem redeeming that an awful lot. So I'm half and half on the uh, good beans. That reminds me, um, the puke jelly bean once. I swear it tasted just like I had puked. The it's the vomit bean is. It's pretty terrible. I think the the vomit, the rotten egg, and the spoiled milk are the worst. Those those are I are pretty difficult for me to eat without without gagging. <clears throat> Excuse me, pretty fiercely. All the bad flavors sound like they could be the Mountain Dew mystery flavors. <laughs> That's 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 good, Black Fox. You got peach chocolate pudding earlier. You were due for a bad bean. Yeah, I forgot about the uh, I forgot about the peach. There we go. What? Didn't I already go through here? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm repeating stuff I've already done somehow. I didn't die. I didn't lose my progress. There we go. Ah, oh, no. Yuck. Every room I... What is the point of having this power? Every time I go into a new room, I can't do anything. <laughs> I keep finding new areas I can't actually explore. Oh, don't redeem the uh, don't redeem the uh, icon thing tonight because uh, I don't. There's no icon on stream when I play a modern game. Your points your points will go to waste. So normally, normally above my face cam, there's a little piece of artwork that's a uh, an Agent Frowny character. I mean, if you look at the if you look at the VODs, the thumbnails for my past VODs, you'll see what that means. And, uh, yeah, one of the rewards is to decide what costume that that character above my head would wear, but there, there is no character with a, with a modern game. Since it, with a, with a 16 by 9 game, <laughs> there's no room on the screen for it. I miss the booger. Maybe two for four then. Yeah, hooked on pot. That's where I am with that. Mountain Dew vomit. NX, welcome in. Howdy, Frowny. Are you liking Dread so far? I'm having a good time with it. Happy to have you stop by. Do you think some do you think some taste tester tasted real puke to get the puke bean right? I have no idea. Um, but I mean I think most humans have had the uh, 
experience of vomiting before, so I don't think that you would necessarily need to need to taste test a bean. I mean, someone could have just done it for the love of the sport, but... Alright, here's a... Nope, this isn't a new area either. Maybe that is up there. Well, it's a new missile. That's a, that's something at least. Mumbo Jumbo outfit. Yeah, uh, we did a banjo kazooie and tui on the stream, and um, so I had a. And my artist draw a costume for a couple of costumes for that for our on screen decoration. What is with this power? I can't do anything. The kids that think that turning 18 means anything, 21 is where the gates open, Black Fox says. Appreciate the explanation, no problem. I thought about that before. They must uh, just test vomit and other things on a molecular level and then find things that will have that effect in your mouth. I have no idea. Dusk, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here with us. Maybe they found the one guy who never vomited before. He's never even had a rumbly tummy. <laughs> who is this mysterious quasi-divine figure. Oh, thank goodness. Somewhere to... Somewhere to... Something we haven't activated before. Somewhere we've been before, but... What about dog food or, or booger? I mean, I've seen people eat dog food on YouTube before. On YouTube before, so it doesn't sound it doesn't sound that outrageous that someone would taste test it for the bean. And the more likely explanation is making things taste like what they smell like. <clears throat> I mean, certainly in the case of uh, certainly in the case of dishwater, that has to be how they did it, right? Because I imagine dirty dishwater would be poisonous to drink. A job is a job, more likely they had a panel of testers and then a focus group before settling on a final flavor. I still remember the last time I did was a number of years ago. We ordered Jet's Pizza and on a whim I, whim I grabbed some chicken wings. I think I had eaten maybe 10 when I started to feel like I was bloated or too full. Not long after that, I was sick top to bottom. Oh. Dog food jelly bean panel. I'll never forget that experience. I can say I think it's been I think I can say it's been quite a while since I've been uh, physically ill so Oh there's all this place over here we haven't been to And I can say I feel rather fortunate that that's the case doorway <laughs> this door this door is ruining my day <laughs> that was much more tricky than it needed to be
it's not that strange at all. They probably ate the dog food because they're dogs. The human face is just a mask. You could be right. You could be right. I wasn't there in person to... Uh... to try and pull their face off and see if it really was just a mask. Okay. Yeah, we there's a lot of places in here that we haven't been to yet, so this will be good. I've had dish soap in my mouth as a kid for swearing learned the hard way that day. Vomit jelly beans, it's pretty subjective because that tastes like what you've eaten recently. Good point. It does seem it does seem like it's difficult for that that it would be difficult for that to be a fixed thing and be accurate. Well, I certainly find them. I'm certainly finding a lot of missiles. Never did to my kid yet, but threatened him with a bar of soap. Oh my! Uh oh. I say that's really bad to have kids bite soap or have dish soap in their mouth. Some guess some kids died or something, but yeah, I've had soap in my mouth for sure. I think I'm seeing too much. I'll catch your stream another time. All right. Thank you. Um, thank you, Grawl Bad. Thanks again for the follow, and I appreciate you uh, being here with us. And yeah, I definitely understand. I don't like to watch people play games I haven't played yet. I'm very, I'm very, very weary of spoilers. I try very hard to avoid them at at pretty much all costs. Your mom did that too. Probably a bit older than you. My soap probably had lead in it. Oh no. So the only t uh, the only time I ever had my mouth washed with soap was uh, when I did it to myself. And that's just because I was that's just because I was a dumb kid. I had no toothpaste and I thought, I thought, well, soap, you know, toothpaste is basically just soap, right? It cleans your mouth, just like soap cleans your hands. I'll just, I'll just rub my toothbrush on a bar of soap and that'll be fine in place of toothpaste. It wasn't. That was a horrible idea and I don't recommend trying it. a good way to make yourself very unhappy. Isn't toothpaste just soap? That was my that was my logic. It didn't work out well for me. I don't recommend thinking that way. <laughs> Ew. Perhaps but made the taste better. 
Soap isn't it cleans your teeth, yeah, but chemically way different, not to mention the pH balance uh, of it is wholly different. Nice. I remember this missile tank from forever ago. That worked. Well, that's odd. I don't think I'm going to make it up there, though. I feel like I'm pulling up the map an awful lot. But... I've got a lot of confusion at the moment. Whoa! That didn't work. That didn't work. That almost worked. Is there uh, enough room here to build up a shine spark? Okay. It seemed like there was enough room on the other side if I'm really lucky. Good boy. Leave me alone. I didn't... What? Samus? <laughs> Grab the blue strip. No. Oh, those enemies. They're what... That's the problem. Alright, let's... Oh, but I think they're just going to respawn. Eh. I don't know why I'm trying so hard for this item. I could probably get it later and be okay. Maybe I shouldn't put us through this. I should really go catch you guys another time. I'm going to... I see I'm going to love this game. Definitely don't want a boss spoiler or something a later all. Catch you later, girl bad. I didn't watch any videos on this game until I'd played it. Yeah. I, uh... Yeah, I try not to watch any footage from uh, from games I plan to play. Even like trailers and stuff like that, I don't like to see. Oh. I don't think I can go through there yet.
So I haven't completed it yet, so I may leave when Frowny gets further in the game than I have as well. Yeah, I won't I won't blame you if that's what you need to do. I don't you know, I wouldn't want to spoil anything for anyone. that lead to? Red teleporter. It's over there. Can I look at that map? Beam. I never went through this charge beam door. Or this one. Seemed to have unnecessarily missed out on a lot of stuff. There's a whole lot of unfinished areas and a lot of places around here. Oh, I can go back down there and see what was behind that wall. That might be good. Let's we'll head we'll head down. I think there's anything down there in those lava pits. I could be wrong about that. Oh no, can I not go through here again? Well, we'll, s we'll see about this. Oh, here we go. This is scary. No, I didn't do it right. Oh, I'm in trouble. And there I go. Always telling someone is liking a game they're playing, they just can't stop playing it. I get that way too myself. A 
it's a good time. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Don't see any reason to wrap it up now. No, don't get blown up. Magma is really painful. This is a teleporter, I think? That's not the kind of thing I need. I need some help. That's what I need. I've gotten myself into trouble here. Don't, don't fall into even more lava. hurt way too much. I really want to see what's over here. Oh yeah, I can't make it up there. I can't make it through there either. I'm doing us no favors. In fact, I'm about to blow us up. Sure wish that guy wouldn't just stand right there. <laughs> Terrible. I shouldn't be down here. I'm just... I'm just getting myself into more and more trouble. What's a different path I can take? I want to get over here to all this stuff. It's so far away. Spaces on the map around here. Well, last time I last time I braved the magma for uh, missiles, it went really poorly. So 
Uh, why not try that again, right? Here we go. That takes me to a whole new area. All right, well, we're not gonna explore around here. We're gonna go somewhere new. You know, we can always save the exploring for when we've got more abilities. The backtracking exploring. I mean, going somewhere new is technically exploring as well, right? I was going to be really sad if I got off that teleporter and the first door I came to was impossible to open. Started me off with a missile tank. That's a good way to start off a new area. Oh, well. I guess I'm stuck on this side now. Oh. There's all kinds of surprises here. Okay, the last cube was free. You think we'll have to fight a boss for this one? Guess we'll find out. It's looking like this one's free too. Nice. What we get? Pulse radar. Oh, is this like a secret finder? Aeon ability that allows Samus to scan her surroundings for hidden blocks using a special sound wave. A full Aeon hold. I guess that's D-pad, right? To activate consumes the full Aeon gauge to use. Well, isn't that something? This will be useful. In fact, I'm probably going to end up using it on every screen. <laughs> Fiery mushrooms, I don't think I can uh, do anything about. Oh. Maybe I've just got to take this uh, ability and run with it. Some other place.
seems like it. How weird. But I can't, uh, I can't fight the fiery mushrooms, so... Oh. <laughs> that feels so strange. I did basically nothing there. I got a great new ability. They knew what they were doing when they put that enemy there. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. So this door, I don't know how to deal with. That's a charge beam door. Oh no, can I get through there? I think I can. Too hot and heat before. Uh, we're okay now. Got kind of lucky jumping over this before I see.
The only trouble about playing this for like a really huge marathon section session is that my already my already modest skills will become less and less as I uh, as I continue on longer and longer. There was a whole door hidden behind that. I don't really want to go in here and fight this guy. What? What was even the point of fighting that guy? Super bombs. Screw attack. Okay. Out and up and around and down. Oh, but that just connects to somewhere we've already been. Ooh. <laughs> There's no way, right? That I make it through all of this lava and around to the other side? Where's the nearest save room? Oh, it's way down here. I really want to try that, though. I don't think there's any way. All right, let's not let's not do that. Let's not be. The bottom part of Samus's helmet looks very strange. Let's see. 
do. There's areas over here that I haven't done a whole lot, but I feel like all of these areas are frozen. I wonder if we can get to that. Power beam door. Sorry, I just have to stare at the map and think. Oh no! Missile tank. All right, well, at least that room won't be flashing anymore. Some stuff I haven't gotten down here, but I'm more interested in these areas up here right now, I think. So, how do we get up there? Oh yeah, I forgot. We can blow the map up.
messed around in here a lot to no avail already. Oh, hang on. Can I... I don't know. I don't know if I can get... Get into that area. That was all for nothing. There was nothing going on there. Something secret around here. Okay, that's not really so much secret as just not yet open. Hey, a new save room. Alright. Hopefully this will be a nice big chunk of map. Sorry I've wandered around aimlessly for so long. See how this works. Fires a rope like beam that can latch on to blue grapple. Those are grapple points. Oh, nice. Okay. We can do something about those triangles now. Hold ZR and press Y to fire after launching it. Tilt L in the opposite direction to pull objects such as grapple beam doors, grapple beam blocks, and grapple beam boxes. When latched, Onto a grapple swing point, Samus can swing back and forth as Samus fires at a magnetic surface. Should be pulled quickly toward it. Cool. I don't think I've seen a grapple swing point anywhere, though. Oh, that's exciting. We are on the move again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like it. Oh, there's a grapple swing point right up there. All right, all right, our mobility is really improved now. Oh, another um, go somewhere room. 
Hmm, do we want to take this voyage? Sure. Might as well just keep moving around. <laughs> loading screens though they really uh they really hang around for a while okay oh cool yeah this is all going to be new stuff too uh maybe maybe not <laughs> We have we have new new abilities. Elevator. Something over here. A lot of stuff going on over here. Save room first. Welcome to the stream, uh, Sputterture. Please correct me if I'm, I'm saying that wrong. My switch light is in the repair shop and I've been dying for three weeks now. I can definitely I could definitely understand that, especially if there's a game that you're like that you've been working on to be uh, held off from making progress that it could be quite painful. I actually don't play a lot of, uh, I actually haven't played a lot of Switch games, um, lately, but. What am I doing wrong here? But I'm really glad that I finally picked this one up. This is a very good time. Alright, so we could immediately teleport somewhere else. But why don't I have a little bit of a look around first? There's a couple areas. I mean, they're kind of way over here. Wide beam box. Power beam door. Tell you what. Scratch that plan. Let's, uh, let's just see where this goes. Somewhere new. Ferinia. I mean, if it's like the last somewhere new, we're gonna be there for like a, um, we're gonna be there for like half of a minute and then be back wandering again. I've been putting a lot of hours on Dread and got quite far with the Emmy bosses. I've uh, I've knocked out a couple of them, so this is this is my first playthrough. This is also my first night with the game. Uh, I've been playing it for about six and a half hours, and that is my my total experience with it so far. And it's been a pretty good time. I'm having fun.
Whoa. I'm, I don't know if I'm clever enough for this situation. Okay, I can't wall kick after doing that. Well, I really want this piece of a uh, piece of an E tank, but I think I might be in a come back for it later type of situation. Oh, rude. It really? There we go. That's kind of a neat looking room there. You're doing better than I was. It took me 15 hours to get to the point you're at right now. Oh, thank you. I feel like I feel like I normally don't progress pretty quickly in these games. So it's it's nice to it's nice to know that I've been making good progress for a change. <laughs> Oh, I can. Okay. that uh oh no I like that this one's purple Can't decide if it's purple or blue. True. I True. I'm thinking, Maradis. Pisalaku dai vili roja rasa. Bilichoso man faragai arrasen mantis ashka. Raven beak. Nimu gabara ne polen bat banis terniku. Hemsenili dan mar garbichoso rahamu hasan mantis in mauti. Thank you for the followers, brother Chur. Much appreciated. Call him Big Bird. Sari, 
Uh-oh. I didn't think that guy was going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Is this a boss fight? Don't let him take me out. I don't want to have to sit through all that dialogue again. Agent Brownie's playing to win tonight. I, you know, I'm having fun, Black Fox. And, uh, figured no reason not to keep going tonight. Also, I have this game on loan, so it's best to play it in, like, these massive sections. Sessions. I am... I'm not doing well. I'm exploded. Now, now it gets real. Oh. Doesn't hit ever. You can skip the dialogue if you die. Yeah, I, I, I know. I was, I was artificially inflating the stakes of the battle. <laughs> I wanted to make it sound like I'd lose more than I would. It's a hard boss until you get the hang of it. We'll see. Get ready for pain and the difficulty curve. Nice. All right. I'll 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 brace myself. Thank you for the bits hooked on pot. Thank you for two hundred.
Hey, we got him. That was pretty intense. Oh, that was it. You're surprised your Samus started speaking Chozo. I was surprised to hear Samus say anything. I really was. Oh, it's not over yet, huh? Easy for frowny torture for me. That was a pretty that was a pretty wild battle. Okay, let's see what's going on up here. Before we try out that door. Okay, I don't think I can get past this uh, wind generator yet. Oh, that was the best I've ever done against one of those. I think that was a fluke though, right? Okay. Alright, well, well, we'll come back. Love how this area looks. It's... Alright, well, hopefully that guy just stays asleep. Maybe I was supposed to go up there. Live to win till you die, till the light dies in your eyes. Live to win, take it all. Just keep fighting till you fall. If those are song lyrics. I don't know if those are original or not. I don't know the song. They sure sound like song lyrics. I hate when this game taunts you with upgrades when you don't have the right gear for it. Pain. It's painful. Agonizing. Messing, I'm messing this up again and again. Here we go. Up. No. Oh, my. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. into trouble. Oh, interesting. Um, Spudditcher, please observe the no back seating, no spoilers tags. 
All right, when I'm in trouble, just let me flounder, please. We have a we have really strict policies about that on my stream. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you wanting to help me, but I would appreciate more if you didn't. <laughs> no worries. You actually probably just saved us about, you know, two hours of trouble because I can be pretty stubborn. <laughs> but I also kind of would have liked to have figured that out on my own. I like how that works, though. Oh, that means... So I've seen one of these before, but I don't remember where. It's, it's best for all of us to let Agent Frowny torture himself. <laughs> that really is what I that really is what I tend to do. I have too much I have too much pride and not enough intelligence. cold in there. Probably don't want to spend a lot of time in there. So we'll go through here. I'm not exactly sure. That I can get through to this missile yet. Alright. Oh, teleporter. You're, you're fine. So this, I was actually, I was, I was actually looking at the map a moment ago before we took this elevator because I was thinking about coming over here, but what did I see? The power beam door. That's what made me afraid to come over here. So we might be, we might get the power beam here. Oh, maybe not. Our profile friend has explained much. We now know why the enemy are pursuing you. Samus Aaron, Raven Deep Lord Uvier, he wants the Metroid DNA that exists only within you. I have confirmed that Quiet Rogue has deactivated all remaining enemy. You should now be able to reach the surface unthreatened. Really? I don't think I don't think that's going to last. The loop quiet rope opened is in Zerenia. Return there immediately. I did not get the power beam. Maybe I already have the power beam. Nope. Well, why'd that say power beam door? Huh. Maybe that means that... No? I don't know. Alright, where am I? I'm trying to get back to Berenia. That's over here. Any secrets along the way? We could check out this area over here. We'll 
take a look over here real quick. Uh... Oh, it's cold over here. Never mind, we won't check that out. This is interesting. That's a long ways away. Oh, there's... There's something secret around here. Oh, it's up there. No. I'm so terrible with uh, stuff like this. No. <laughs> That was close. Got it. Victory. Um, what's your YouTube channel name? Pretty much the same as my Twitch name. Spooderture. Most of my videos are old and bad. <laughs> Need to clear out some of the old garbage ones. Gecko Luna. Awesome. Kind of dumb too. Sorry, I don't really follow. Uh... Here. Uh-oh. Okay, this is alright. on the wrong side. Um, how do I get, how do I get around there? Oh, too high. I meant to be down here. Um, it's okay. We can go to the save room and see about the, uh, what kind of 
kind of secret might be around here. Nice. Have you played some of the original Metroid games? Yeah, so I've played... I've played Zero Mission, uh, Super Metroid, and Metroid Fusion. I would say that Super Metroid has been my favorite, Zero Mission my second favorite, and Fusion my least favorite. Not that any of them are bad, just... You know, I like... I like, uh... I like how lonely and standoffish Super Metroid is. I've actually played a, a decent amount of the original NES Metroid, um, but it's really, really hard. I've made it. I've made it far enough in to the NES Metroid to get the various suit, to get the high jump boots. I've defeated Kraid, but I've never found. I've never found Ridley. I really, I really want to like the NES Metroid, but the map is so massive and everything looks the same.